Hey guys, and now I'm going to be doing uh, the next part. So anyways, let's go and get started. I'm going to be showing more tapes I own. Here we go, this is number, number 10. So anyways, let's go and get started. First I got the 1986 features just want a stone. Spine in the back. Okay. This tape does use the black screen of death at the end. Per date, July 3rd, 1986. I got the 1993 Pinocchio, my original copy. Per date, it's April 8th, 1993. It's a little bit of a reprint. I got Swiss Family Robinson. March 25th, 1995. Absent my professor. Case kind of beat up inside. Tape does still work. December 26th, 1996. So the day after Christmas. Got Wild America. September 12th, 1997. Got Homer Bound 2. Guys, sorry if I accidentally show any of these twice. June 4th, 1996. It's just hard to remember which ones I've shown, which ones I haven't shown, so I'm sorry about that. If there's any duplicates that I've shown before. Double for 1992. This series might tend to have that sometimes. I apologize. April 6th, 1992. Got Heidi, 2002 VHS. Oh, hey, Mom, I'm making a video right now. Hey. Her day is May 21st, 2002. So has the original previews. Next, I got Sound of Music, Twitch Fox Channel feature. Okay, printed in the 37th week of 1996. Next, we got the 1993, which is a Great Mouse Detective. However, mine's, this one's a little bit of a 1993 print. February 9th, 1993. Plus, has an updated case, which is kind of cool. It's hard to see, though. That's the 1993 clamshell. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. For today, January 21st, 1997. Got recess schools out. Believe it or not, my copy of this actually has not watched it out at the end. It's pretty rare. June 23rd, 2001. Especially for a Disney tape. Has not watched it out at the end for a total of around 11 12 seconds, I think. Next, I got Dumbo 2001 VHS. Per date, August 28th, 2001. Air Bud. Clibble. This one actually has the correct rating on it. December 11, 2000, so this one's a reprint. Hope to get the blue lid copy sometime as well of that tape. So I'm going to keep all copies. Next, got Air Bud Gun Receiver, which is the sequel. However, I do have the blue lid copy of this one. See? November 3rd, 2003. Next, I got two copies of Peter Pan 2002 release. Start with this copy. Look at this. This has an equal blue lid. Printed April 16, 2002. Here's this copy. This copy is earlier. 
this one has a dark. Sugar Lil Purdy, December 28, 2001. 2004, it's just a Milan. Purdy, September 22nd, 2004. Last clam show I got is Mary Poppins, 2004 VHS. Pretty Nora, 8004. And now let's get to the UK tape. The Aristocats. This is a PAL tape, obviously. It's from the UK. It's a reprint copy. September 1st, 2000. Has it in the UK order. Because it says, it actually says January 9, 2000, but I think it's September 1st, 2000, in the UK order. Next, I got uh, Yentl. There's no print date on this tape. Twenty six week of nineteen eighty nine. Moist sound only at the end. Print it eighth week in Taiwan. One more sound barcode however. Actually it's actually it's the white screen at the end, believe it or not. It's pretty cool. Thirty eighth thing that high four, no uh, No, thirty eighth thing that high six, excuse me. And uh thirty seventh thing that high four. It has a good barcode, but it's a recycle from a good barcode tape, it still has nothing, of course. Fifty second week of two thousand, this is a reprint. This is a Canadian copy. October first, nineteen ninety nine. Actually there's a print date which is interesting for Canadian tape. Black Day January ten two thousand. Printed in the uh, 30th week of 1999, and it says PVT on there twice. I don't know what that means. I guess it might have been a full rental at one point. I mean, no, probably from Blockbuster. I think that might be with the... I think it's previewed tape. Previously viewed tape? I don't know. It's one of those. I think that's what PVT means. Next, it got Jackie Brown. However, this is a new line air, even though it has been taped over with old Godzilla War of the Worlds. Which I have never seen or heard of. Yeah, it has the new line air. I will still keep this bootleg though, even though it's taped over something else. Next I got red corner. March 18th, 1998. Next I got the demo tape of Oh Brother Where Are You. Universal and Touchstone film, even though I believe the only one shown is Touchstone. I could be wrong though. I don't remember. I haven't seen this movie in a long time. Pretty date March 28, 2001. Family thing, full length screening cassette. Birthday is October fourth, nineteen ninety six. This next one has two print dates. This is the version of two print dates I have. November second, two thousand one. October thirty first, two thousand one. Second print dates on Halloween. That's cool. September 2nd, 2003, and July 11th, 2003. So this has two per dates. I think it says. Yes. Yes, that's right. Next, I got True Grit. Copy print in 19th, forget 1993. State does use to watch Kennedy Alf. Gone Harvest film. The logo is shown at the beginning. Fifth week of 2001. Copy of two per dates, February 13th at time 1 and January 21st at time 1. This date does use the cheesy shield at the beginning. Per 
According to 36, we get 2002. This is the original pressing of this I have. So, and also has some homemade end label. It's not my end label. I, I did not make it. It just came that way. Got to stay back in January 2014, I believe. Printed in the um, 33rd week of 1997. Got out cold. This does still use the old Touchstone logo from, from 2002, I think. Touchstone Entertainment. November 15, 2002, and October 29, 2002. Oh wow, it looks like it's 12 or 4 a.m. where I live. Not to get off topic, but it's already it's already December 22nd where I live. It's pretty cool. Not to get too off topic. It's 12 or 4, so no, 12 or 5 now. So five minutes ago, it just it turned midnight where I live. So in the description, I mean, I mean, in the, in the title of this video, I will be putting um, December 21st through 22nd, 2016, because of that. Not to get too off topic. Next we got you only live twice. Print date, March 15th, 1995. And guys, sorry for the off-topic comment. Just in case you guys are curious, I just want to let you guys know. White Fang. Print date, February 16th, 1995. Saturday Night Fever. I think it's... Yeah. Actually, I'll wait till the end of the video. Say anything else. 30 freaking 95 and Boring Barcodes. This has nothing. That's a demo tape of Medicine Man. Pretty rare tape. The only problem is the spike coming sealed, this tape has mold on it. So I'm not sure if it'll work fine or not. Let me know if you guys think it'll work fine or not. June 5th, 92, and June 4th, 92. But even if it doesn't, at least on the bright side, I will still keep that tape for the collection because it's rare, because it's a demo tape. And I'll, uh, and I have good on the bright side, I do have this version as well, of the regular copy. So if that one breaks, I'll still have the movie. I'll just, I'll just hope to get another demo tape sometime, if that one breaks. Uh, March 12, 93, March 11, 1993, so a day apart. Even though it'd still be pretty sad, though. Pretty sad loss. Next, I got Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory. Let me know if you guys think it's safe for me to play it or not. January 2nd, 1991, and September 28th, 1990, so kind of far apart. Next, got the American President. This is a reprint copy. Look at this. It has a sticker label, and it's two per dates. June 3rd, Town 3, and May 16th, 2003. Next, I got Billy Masson. This tape actually is recycled. Printed in the 43rd week of 1994 and the 33rd week of 1997. I got Gremlins 2, the new batch, Cheesy Shield. Have the original as well. Uh, per date, there's two per dates. November 18th, 1990, November 15th, 1990. Big Fat Greek Wedding. This is not the Canadian copy, this is the official copy I have as well. So I'm going to keep both copies. December 16th, 2002, December 12th, 2002. So four days apart. The Cotton Club, MC Entertainment. This actually is a print date on the top. That's pretty unusual for Embassy. Print date, April 15th, 1985. <laughs> Next, I got Some of All Fears. This day came sealed when I got it. This day does have the Paramount 90th Anniversary feature presentation. That's pretty rare. Printed in the 15th, we get 2004. Next two are, are the Kill Bill films. First, start with Volume 1. Two blockers dates, August 2004 and August 2005. Per dates, March 12, 2004. Here's Kill Bill Volume 2. Two blockers dates once again, August 22, 2005 and August 20, 2000. No, and September 20, 2005, excuse me. It's around a month apart for that one. July 7, 2004 is the per date. Next, I got Napoleon Dynamite. Clayable. Per date is November 18th, 2004. I got Troy. 
Clevel. November 16, 2004. So this is an early copy. Tom and Jerry Whiskers Away. November 17, 2004. Ripley's Game. Two part dates March 11, Tom 4, March 8, Tom 4. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Second copy. Still keeping both copies. This is the two part date copy. May 17, Tom 2, February 11, Tom 2. Second part date is extremely early, so I definitely got it when I saw it. Letterbox tape of Jurassic Park. Printed 38th week of 1994. This date does use the Washington Death at the end. Paycheck. Both Paramount and DreamWorks are shown. 18th week of 2004. Hunt for it, October. Printed in the uh, 26th week of 1993 in a good barcode. The safe actually has the white screen of death at the end, unlike most copies of this movie. A lot of copies of this movie have moist. I mean, a lot. Like, pretty much almost every single other YouTube user had a copy with moist sound only. My copy, one of my copies have the white screen of death. This copy right here, which is pretty cool. And there's the barcode again if you want to see it. Yeah, if you guys want to find a copy of this with the white screen of death, good luck. Next, we got Unbreakable. Exclusive video bonus edition. Also, Hyde Park film. Also, the demo tape of this as well. I'm still keeping both copies. September 28, 2001. September 16, 2001. So, this tape does have two per dates. Pirates Caribbean, Curse of Black Pearl. No November 4, 2003, and October 30, 2003. Hello. Uh, my second copy. Don't ask me why. This copy actually has the ink little blue and black reels I was hoping to get. Still keeping both copies of it, though. You know, I do have a copy to Black Lid as well, so I showed in previous episode. Per date, June 28, 2004, for this one. Still keeping both of them, of course. City Slickers. Not the copy you're thinking of. I also have a vertical ink label copy with RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video on it. That's pretty cool. No print date. I don't think I've shown that one yet, so I'll show it. Same with this one, my Avon copy of City Slickers. But I could be wrong if I showed these. If I showed, if I previously showed these, I'm sorry if I got a duplicate. Per date, August 29th, 1994. Because again, it's kind of hard to tell. Next, I got Donnie Brasco. Recycled, 49th week of 97 and the 39th week of 2000. Pledge. Walker's date, September 30th, 2001. Uh, May 11, 2001, and April 28, 2001. Rambling Rose. Aww, kitties here to see me. A kitty. 11th, 1993. Printings. Kitty! Sorry, guys, I'm petting my cat while I'm uh, doing this. Scarlet Pimpinol. Oops, tops like that. Startled that. Wasn't paying attention. Printed in the 31st week of 1993. In a good barcode. Aww. Next, I got Left Behind World at War. This tape does have sound watch screen at the end just for one second. September 22nd, 2005. Next, I got. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Second copy. 31st week of 1992. Constantine, 2005 HS. Pretty rare tape, actually. Pretty lucky to have it. May 16th, 2005. Also got Under Siege 2 Dark Territory. Per date, January 10th, 1996. Yeah. There we go. And the last one I'm going to be showing you guys is a set of the Pink Panther trilogy. Unfortunately, I accidentally damaged the side of that one because um, of 
because there was like a lot of um, tape all around this tape, and it, and it accidentally went too harsh on this one, and it accidentally tore it, unfortunately, but at least the tape does still work, so that's the good thing, at least. You know, got this still for a really good deal, so I got it. I got it because it looked like a really good deal. Alright, so let's go and start with the side of damage to the Pink Panther. I think the tape does still work again, so yeah, that's not a big deal. It's just a case, you know. October 13th, 1999. Here's uh, this one. Also, have the Sears Rock Fail printed this one as well. October 13th, 1999. Shine the Dark, which I actually, we were not, actually do have the Magnetic Video release of this one. Yeah, it's not watching KDF for like three minutes at the end. It's kind of cool. Print date, October 13, 1999. All these have the same print date, note. All these have the same print date. October 13th. Look, it only says October 13th. It doesn't say the year on this one. That's kind of cool. You know, I can tell it's 1999. And Pink Panther, which actually came sealed, as you can see by the shrink wrap. Um, exact same per day, October 13, 1999. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys in my next video. That's it for tonight. See you tomorrow.